Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my everyday errand makeup routine. For some of you, this may be a lot of makeup and for some of you, you might think it's not enough. But the good thing about this routine is you can tweak it to your liking. So the first thing that I always do is pull my hair back and then do a little shimmy. So I don't use this every day, but since my sleep has been pretty bad the last couple of weeks, my bags have been pretty intense. I don't know if you can tell. I'm using the NYX Dark Circle Orange Pod Concealer. Jeez, that's a mouthful. <laughs> I'm normally pretty generous on the amount I use. Then I'll go ahead and blend that into my eyes to eliminate the dark circles. Then I'll go ahead and use the Pore Professional. Now, I know some people either love primers or hate primers. I'm kind of in the middle. I like it. Um, I don't use it every day, but since I knew I was going to be outside, I went ahead and put it on. Then I'll go ahead and use my all-time favorite L'Oreal True Match in W2. It's seriously my holy grail, guys. I'll normally use a high-end foundation if I'm going out somewhere fancy or a special occasion. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and dot this all over my face. And just dot away. <laughs> so I normally use a beauty blender, but I just threw it away last week because it was getting super nasty. So I need to get one ASAP. But other than that, I just blend, 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 blend to your liking. Just make sure you get under your neck. Uh, make sure you get your nose area forehead and you know just by your ears and under your neck because you know that's really not cute when you see those harsh lines pretty ugly so yeah just make sure you go ahead and blend away then to finish up the base of my face i'm going to use the l'oreal age rewind i believe it is fair is what i use so i'm gonna go ahead and make these triangle looking things under my eyes um, I'm not going to lie, this stuff is magic, especially for the price, but of course, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put everything down below for you, so if you're interested in any of these products that I use, it will be down below in the description bar. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and use my same foundation brush that I used for all over the face. I'm going to go ahead and blend my under eye and just make sure there's no creasing, no oiliness or shininess and just kind of make everything seamless and flawless. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. I believe this is the light that I have. Of course, I'm going to link it down below for you if you are interested. And I believe this is like one of the first palettes she came out with. I don't know. I could be wrong. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the powder to the far left to go ahead and set my foundation. And then the one in the middle with the yellowish tint, I'm going to go ahead and use that for my under eyes. And I'm just going to make sure I get all my oil oily spots and just make sure there's no creasing and just set everything. Now I'm going to use my semi sweet chocolate palette from Too Faced. I'm in love with this palette. If I could literally make a palette, this is what it would probably look like. Has enough matte and shimmers is perfect. It's my everyday go-to palette and I also like it because my hubby bought it for me for my birthday. Now again, since this is an everyday makeup, I don't do anything too crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and put pink sugar on my lid. Then I'll use rum raisin on the crease of my lid okay so my favorite part of makeup the lashes oh my god if you have one of those days where you just don't want to put on makeup you can just go ahead and throw on some mascara and you already look like a totally different person i love it okay so i'm using the l'oreal voluminous mascara i seriously been using this since high school it's an oldie but a goodie but i feel like everybody likes this mascara i mean it should get a reward right Oh my god, can we seriously talk about these faces I'm making? I never realized how many faces I make just putting on mascara. I mean, like, look, there's so many different poses. This one, then there's another one. Giddy girl. Okay, so let's put some color into my face. A couple more things and we are almost done. So now I'm using the Eco Brush and the blush is called Kitty Pink from Dirty Little Secrets. I got it from my Etsy bag. So yeah, I'm kind of loving the color. It's cute. It's natural. So to finish the face, I'm using Moonstone from Becca. I actually use this highlighter for my wedding, so it's actually very special to me. Um, I do use it daily, so it's definitely one of my favorites. So I'm actually not going to lie, I am very generous with the highlighter. I put it everywhere. On my nose, cupids, everywhere. <laughs> 
Now lippies, just using the Miliani Teddy Bear. And on top, I'm just going to go ahead and put on some NYX Soft Matte in number 16. It doesn't have a name, so I don't know. Just I saw that it said 16, so I hope that helps. But I will link everything down below for you. And I don't know about you, putting stains are my go-to now just because I'm so busy. I don't have time to put on lipstick and retouch my lip glosses. We are done, guys. We are at the end. So this is totally optional. It's up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and lather up my face with some photo finish primer water. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you want to see more mommy videos.